Hi folks, so this is going to be an interesting sociological experiment. How many of you are devoted enough to watch an 18 minute long upload from me? Uh, yeah, YouTube, I'm really grateful you guys, uh, to you guys for um, lifting the 15 minute cap, but this is kind of insane. Um, but it's really nice that I didn't have to um, do some weird speeding up effects. Anyway, this is another battle against Invert 12. Um, using we're both using UU singles passes. No, wait, no, that's not true. I'm using a UU singles pass. He is using um, a mixed pass that's two OUs, two UUs, and two NUs. Anyway, um, he goes ahead and uses agility on his first turn, not really realizing just how slow my Uxie is. And so I get a, I get in a stealth rock, and um, I need to now decide what to do um, against his Kingler. So I decide I'm going to go ahead and attack it with Psychic. Um, Kingler goes ahead and attacks me with Crab Hammer, but Uxie is pretty bulky, so it, it takes the hit pretty well. Um, and I'm not fearing really. So here comes the Psychic, and um, it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, King, uh, Kingler is down to um, about half HP, or less than half HP, so I can take it out in the next hit. Um, my opponent decides that uh, Kingler is not worth switching out, so um, Ember 12 goes ahead and attacks me again with Crab Hammer, which gets me down to about half HP, um, and Psychic's gonna kill him. So that's all, uh, all pretty good, and um, I am now up 6 5. Um, yeah, so anyway, my opponent then goes ahead and sends out Clefable, and so here is where the title comes from. Uh, you know, you've seen the Stall Wars with Mick. Mick is not uh, that's my Umbreon, for those of you who don't know. Um, those battles pale by comparison to this one. That Clefable is going to outstall everything in creation, and is, going to, is the reason why this battle clocks in at 18 minutes. Um, so anyway, I go ahead and send in um, Tachikoma, my uh, uh, my um, Rotom, and I figure that uh, I don't know what it's carrying, uh, what the Fable's carrying, but if it's doing facade or something, I should be pretty safe. Um, and indeed, it does have uh, Flame Orb, so um, I know it's. I, I have a good feeling that it's going to be doing facade. I consider going for a substitute here, but I figure I've just got to, you know, if I have any hopes of taking it out, I've got to start charge beaming now. Uh, as you can see, Charge Beam does nothing at this point, and my only hope is to get up to plus six. Um, this was a mistake. Had only I set up a substitute, um, I could have blocked that trick, and now I've got a Flame Orb, and he's got leftovers. So that thing is now going to be even harder to kill. Meanwhile, I've got a burn. Now, you know, granted, that's not going to cut my attack or anything, it's not going to hurt me too much, but it is going to be annoying because instead of recovery action, um, and instead of getting, being able to get in free substitutes, I'm going to have to, um, yeah, so a little miss on here. Uh, I'm going to um, have a limited amount of time to kill this thing. So I'm getting pretty desperate at this point, and I'm just, I've just got to hit it, and got to hope for a crit or something, because that's the only way this Clefable is going down. Um, but so far the hacks are going in his favor. Um, yeah, so here comes another sh uh, charge beam. Um, and I think I'm right now at plus one. Uh, yeah, I'm still only at plus one because I'm just not getting the boosts. Meanwhile, he's now at plus three for both of his stats. Um, I decide I'm going to go ahead and use Hidden Power um, just to, you know, because it's Hidden Power fighting should be super effective. But you can see it really doesn't do very much, and you just know he's got a recovery move. Uh, so this is just going to be painful, just so painful. Anyway, as you can tell from the edits, I'm trying to speed this up as much as possible. Um, and yeah, here I do get a special attack boost, and so hopefully I will be able to kill it at some point. But no, it goes ahead and uses soft boil, and there's nothing I can ever do to this thing that's going to do the KO it, uh, short of a crit. So I'm just hoping to get as much special attack boost as I can to just try to take it out. Yeah, cosmic power again. Um, it's I find it interesting that he hasn't attacked yet because, um, and that really tells me that there's really nothing it can do. To Tachikoma. Now, of course, I'm racking up the burn damage at this point. Uh, you know, it's been a bunch of turns. I'm probably down to pretty low HP, even though I'm not showing it. So anyway, here the hidden power is my only hope, and it's really not doing anything. Uh, and um, Fable is just soft boiling, boiling away all the damage. And meanwhile, I look at how low HP I am, and I figure, you know what, this is this is it. Um, you know, if I don't get a crit here, it's over. Um, so anyway, I go ahead and use Hidden Power, um, and it's super effective, but it does nothing. 
Um, and here he tricks back my leftovers, and so I was like, why did he do that? Um, that's really strange. But anyway, I decided, you know, I'm not going to question it. Um, I'm just going to switch out, uh, t say thank you for the leftovers, and just get out, just get the hell out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out and switch into um, Patrick, my Uxie. Um, so yeah, uh, just, I need, you know, I don't know why I did this, you know, what I was hoping to do, maybe get some special defense drops. Uh, Clefable goes ahead and uses Soft Oil uh, while it waits to see who I send in. Uh, I go ahead and use Heal Bell, which gets rid of the burn on Taji Hum, which is nice. Um, but I really don't know what I'm going to do to this Clefable. Clefable goes ahead and uses Seismic Toss, uh, which is going to hurt a hell of a lot. Um, I guess I was uh, hoping that it would go ahead and trick um, that, uh, that uh, whatchamacallit, Flame Orb onto me, but it didn't. Uh, so I've got, to, I've got to pull out Patrick at this point, um, because there's nothing I can do. Um, and so I go ahead and send in uh, Tachikoma yet again. Um, Clefable goes ahead and uses Seismic Toss, which is great. And so I was thinking, alright, well, now all I have to do is set up a sub and just wait him out. But I don't have enough HP for that, so i got to pull right back out. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of a weird little battle here. Um, I guess I'm kind of hoping that he's gonna, uh, use Trick, and I do actually, I, this was, a, this was actually my strategy, now I remember, and I, this did actually do what I wanted it to. I was hoping that he would trick the Flame Orb onto a Pokémon who was about to die, uh, namely, um, namely, uh, Patrick, and anyway, this is double awesome for me, because, um, he gets a Lumberry, so he gets cured of his, uh, his, um, being burned, uh, which is just awesome, because now, because this means that, um, if he goes ahead and uses Facade at any point, it's only going to do half damage. So anyway, now I can send Tachikoma back out, um, and yeah, it goes ahead and uses Trick. Uh, I was actually surprised, I thought the Trick only didn't work if you weren't carrying an item, but I looked it up, Trick does work even if you're not carrying an item, but so this isn't good, um, and I figure we're back to the stalling, um, but Fable goes ahead and switches out, um, and uh, since I'm Jolteon instead, predicting that I'm going to use um, Charge Beam, uh, which indeed I do, and I was hoping it would miss, uh, but it didn't, so Jolteon's back up to full health. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pull back Tachikoma since it's not like I have Hidden Power of Ground or anything, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and send in Steelix, who will be able to tank this. Um, Jolteon goes ahead and uses Shadow Ball, predicting, uh, no, actually this was uh, hoping for a super effective hit, um, and it does get the special defense drop, but I'm still feeling pretty confident that I can take it out before it takes me out. Hadarok is pretty darn bulky. Um, I was actually predicting a switch here, um, not a hidden power, I guess this is probably hidden power fire? That makes sense? Um, anyway, still, uh, that does a lot of damage, more than I was expecting, and I'm really lucky here. I get the crit, and it does take out uh, Jolteon. Not sure if I needed the crit. Uh, after all, Jolteon's not exactly the bulkiest Pokemon, but it's nice to have had it anyway. So anyway, out goes Miltake, and I'm like, oh god, he's going to stall me even more? But luckily, I've got that great Custat Berry strategy, and an explosion will... Uh, I'm really hoping it's going to take out Miltank, and indeed it does. Um, so his other crazy staller is all, is now dead, and so now all I have to worry about is that Clefable. So now that we're out of this Clefable war, you know, the battle's going pretty quickly. We're both losing lots of Pokemon on both sides, um, and, you know, as you can see, I'm down to one, two, three, four, but two of which are kind of at low HP. So anyway, not knowing what he's going to send out, I'm just going to go ahead and send out Kyoko, my, uh, Glaceon, who does pretty well, you know, since there's really no safe switch into a uh, Glaceon. Um, my opponent's got a Venomoth, and I figure I can kill it. Um, I go ahead and use uh, Ice Beam here, um, not because I thought it would be special, uh, super effective, but just because I, I knew it would do a lot of damage. What I wasn't printing was that it would be faster. The problem with Kyoko is that its speed is god awful. So anyway, I've got to pull back my Glaceon um, because it's asleep, and I go ahead and send uh, Blake, my Arcanine, out. He'll be able to um, kill it with fire. <laughs> kill it with fire. Anyway, um, not looking forward to those um, those toxic spikes, um, you know, which are really good to have on a stall team. 
Um, but yeah, so I go ahead and use Thunder Fang uh, rather than Flare Blitz because I don't want the recoil, um, and I figure I can still take it out. Um, I don't know why I didn't use Extreme Speed. You know, that would have been the better move. It's not again, it's not like it's part flying type, so it's not like it's super effective. But you know, it, it is effective. Um, so anyway, uh, out goes Dragonite. And um, the question is what I'm going to do to Dragonite. Um, so this is, you know, Jolteon and Dragonite were his uh, OU guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use Morning Sun um, while he uses Extreme Speed. Um, and I think Extreme Speed takes me out. Yeah, it does. So Blake he wasn't particularly useful in this battle, but uh, yeah. I do get, uh, you know, it is what it is. So um, Dragonite's got leftovers and is getting some recovery action, and so I'm going to go ahead and send in Maryland, uh, my Blastoise, for uh, several reasons, one of which it can take it out with Ice Beam, um, and the other being that it has Rapid Spin and all that jazz. Uh, so anyway, uh, he goes ahead and makes a substitute, uh, which is a pretty good move. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Ice Beam, uh, so instead of it's only doing... Actually, so, no, that's not really a great move. I don't exactly know what his strategy might, might or may not be. Maybe he has a barrier that he's nothing... Well, he doesn't have a barrier that he's got leftovers. Um, but he's going to go ahead and use Substitute... Oh, wait, never mind. I'm sorry. It's quite obvious what he's doing. The toxic damage is going to build up from those spikes. Luckily, it was only one layer of spikes, so it's not um, going to be toxic... Uh, you know, badly poisoned. It's just going to be regular poison. And I've got uh, some time here, but he is trying to stall me out uh, and hoping that the um, poison is going to get me to low enough HP that he'll be able to take me out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was his last sub that he can afford to make, um, but I don't 100% remember. Uh, yeah, so here comes a Dragon Claw, and he's just hoping it's going to take me out. But um, Blastoise is bulky as anything. Um, and I love Blastoise. Um, my you know, Squirtle was my first generation starter. Um, yeah, and anyway, Ice Beam does take him out, um, after, you know, I survived the Dragon Claw. So at this point, um, what am I gonna do? Uh, he's down to his Clefable. I'm pretty sure that's his last Pokemon. Yep, it is. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Rapid Spin, just because, uh, just to get rid of those spikes. Um, not because I think it's gonna do any damage. I get a crit, which is just funny. Um, but I do blow away the Toxic Spikes. And Clefable is going to go ahead and use Cosmic Power. Now you might be saying, oh well the strategy that I should have done was just switch into someone who could do super effective damage and do a lot of damage to him, but you know, I don't have anyone who could have done a lot of damage to him. I don't have any fighting move except for Hidden Power Fighting. and just wouldn't have done enough. Um, so anyway, I'm just, so my strategy here is literally to get him to struggle. Uh, that's the only hope I have because none of my attacks are going to do enough damage. Uh, unless they're crits, and so um, I get two turns of um, I get two turns of sleep off, um, and you know he's not really attacking me. Uh, he's just building up his cosmic power. Water Spout did a ridiculously small amount, and it's continuing to do a ridiculously small amount. But I figure you know that's going to be one of the strongest attacks I have. If Water Spout gets a crit, I pretty much won this. I figure so. Just keep doing Water Spout. That's all I've got to do. Um, and he goes ahead and uses Trick, um, which is, I believe, at this point, leftovers to leftovers. Um, yeah, uh, so switches out. Yeah, so uh, Fable obtained leftovers, Maryland obtained leftovers. Um, so anyway, Maryland comes back at this point um, because I'm really hoping that it's going to keep on doing the switching, and it would be really nice to get uh, those lefties back. Anyway, no, it turns out that's not what's going on, and so I'm going to pull back Tachikoma. Uh, and send out uh, Glaceon, or no, send out Maryland. Uh, just gonna keep you in the water spouts. Um, Clefable is gonna do some more soft world. The great thing is, uh, if uh, I do get attacked, um, you know, I can just keep on resting. And, the, and since I don't have sleep talk, when I'm asleep, uh, I don't lose any PP. So I figure I can outstall him with um, Blastoise alone. Um, but yeah, the rest of this battle, all, you know, what is it, five minutes at this point of the battle, is just going to be a skull war between, uh, you know, trying to get that Clefable to struggle. And it is going to take five minutes. Um, so you can go ahead and stop watching now, or fast forward, or whatever you like. Um, you know, I don't have, I, I guess I probably could figure out how to speed this up. I could do the whole. Okay, that's enough. But the point is, I could try to speed this up and everything. But uh, whatever, I'm just gonna narrate through it, and uh, you can either suffer through it if you uh, 
I guess, are enjoying hearing the sound of my beautiful voice or what have you. Um, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm just switching in Tachikoma every time I think he might use Trick. Um, so, uh, wow, my laptop just fell asleep. Uh, I hope that didn't affect the recording. Um, anyway, uh, Cosmic Power continues to go. Um, Kyoko is still asleep. Um, let's see, so now there's another trick, which is just another leftovers to leftovers kind of thing. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just wait until Kyoko wakes up, and then when it does, I figure, hey, here's an idea. Why don't I use... Um, why don't I use uh, fake tears to get its HP down? Um, and there's another idea I have, which I'll show you in a bit. The re what I'm trying to do eventually is um, what I, I want to get um, Tachikoma's HP back up to the point where it can make a sub. And once it does that, uh, once it gets uh, up to the point where it can make a sub, there's nothing that uh, Clefable can do to it, and I'm hoping that my opponent will just resign, or otherwise will just stall it out. So I go ahead and use Wish here. Um, because it'll restore half of his HP. By the way, I don't know if you've heard about in Generation 5, Wish passes on half of the user's HP to its recipient. So that means if you use Wish on, say, Blissey, which I think is legal for some events, um, then, and then, you know, switch in someone with not that good HP, we're talking, you know, a massive, ma we're talking massive, massive recovery here. Um, which is going to be really awesome, but it's also going to be really ab abusive, or at least you're going to be able to abuse it, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I do get the wish, um, which is great, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and use Charge Beam until he gives me back my um, leftovers. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to get some special attack boosts. Um, yeah, this is just throwing more stuff, you know, with the soft boiled and all that good stuff. So there's some charge beams going on. I get a crit here, which does a lot of damage. Um, you know, had I used hidden power fighting, maybe that could have delivered the KO. Um, but I didn't, you know, you, don't, you never know when a crit is coming, so all I can do is really try to get myself up to plus six. Um, Clefable's gonna, you know, keep on soft boiling off the damage and is uh, stalling this out for as long as possible. Um, but as you can see, there's not much left in this battle. Um, so pretty soon we're going to get into struggle. Um, yeah, so Cosmic Power um, isn't doing anything anymore. I get another crit uh, and gets him down to really low HP. Um, and he didn't think to use Soft Boiled there. So actually, I use Hidden Power and I'm able to take it out before we get into a struggle war. Um, so that was amazing. Um, Invert 12, great battle. Uh, I hope we never have a battle like this again. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure all of you who are still watching feel that way for sure. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and don't hold this match against me. I'll try not to do something like this again. Okay, so long.